Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I just hope you all are good, you all are safe and you all are healthy at your home. Uh, in this particular video, I'm not going to teach you anything. It's just about the upcoming CSR net exam. All right. Uh, now you all are, I guess, already aware about this thing that the next CSR net exam, the CSIR uh, June 2021 exam is going to be delayed as per the uh, official tweet by the CSIR. And I have the like I have made a video regarding that in the previous one. So I hope you all are already aware about it that the next CSI net exam is going to be delayed because of the pandemic. And this is a wise decision because currently the situation of the country is not in in that particular way that an exam could have been conducted in this particular situation. Okay, so we are not in that situation as a country where exam can be conducted. So yeah, it's a good decision by CSIR to delay the exam, uh, to delay the next CSIR net exam. Also, uh, like as the CSIR has not mentioned yet, and I don't think there is any now chance of the previous December 2020 exam to be conducted, right? So there is no chance of December 2020 exam to be conducted now. So the next exam would be uh, June 2021 exam, and that too is going to be delayed as per the, uh, the tweet or as per the information from the CSIR. So that means that this year also uh, we will be having the first CSIR net exam which uh, usually used to happen in the month of June is going to be little delayed maybe in the month of July or maybe delayed a little bit more depending upon the situation of the country. I just hope and pray that the situation becomes as good as possible and our country heals out of this particular pandemic as early as possible. So that's the thing which I pray and I hope let's think that okay the next uh, like this year we are going to have two exams one is going to be in the month of little delayed let's say in the month of july and the next one in the month of december but the thing is that still uh, our december 2020 exam is basically skipped or that exam is not going to be conducted basically right now in all this scenario uh, the loss is there for the students okay especially to the aspirants which are at the verge of their age limit now, I guess you all are aware about this that there is an age limit of 28 years for the JRF position. Although there is no age limit for the LS position, that means in order to sit for this particular exam for CSIR UGC net, there is no uh, like age limit for that. But in order to qualify for the JRF and in order to be considered as a JRF, your age should be 28 or less. Now, that's the age limit. Now, those students who were uh, expecting their age to be 28 years by the month of December or before the month of December, maybe in the month of November or in the month of September, uh, they are now in a huge trouble because uh, they have lost one crucial chance which they would have given in December 2020. Okay, So their chance has decreased and it is not good. It's not a justice. Okay, It's not something which is justified. So uh, CSIR has to think about it. They should increase the age limit for the upcoming exam. Now, this is this is something which can be done. Okay, in UGC net, if you know about UGC net, UGC net is the exam which is for the non science students. So the, for the UGC net, basically, they they were planning to take the exam in the month of uh, May. Okay, and in that notification, they have increased the age limit. I'll show you in the notification of that in the brochure of that. So UGC has increased the age limit from 28 years to 30 years. Now the similar thing we are expecting from CSIR also because due to all this pandemic, it's really depressing for a particular student to prepare for exam for so long. And uh, because of no fault of his, like because of no none of his fault, he is uh, not eligible for a particular position. So that's not good, right? So I just hope that CSIR listens out to this particular thing. Now how we can uh, like how we can uh, like convey our message to the CSR already have posted about it on my uh, on my community tab but making a video because video reaches out to the more number of students or more number of people so that's why I made this particular video so yeah see uh, what we can do is we can tweet regarding this so I have already tweeted ag about it on my Twitter handle I'll give you the link of that in the description of this video also in the comment section of this particular video you can reach out to the tw uh, tweets there are two tweets which I have made a thread of tweets where, where I have tagged a CSIR and uh, HRDG CSIR also I have tagged uh, NTA so these three th uh, three uh, like uh, officials you have to tag so I highly request you all that you should also participate in this particular uh, thing and you should also uh, tweet about the same 
uh, to CSIR. Either you can tweet of your own, but make sure that you are tagging these three officials or you can retweet the tweet which I have made. We'll, we are just making one uh, hashtag that is increase age limit for JRF. Okay, so that's the hashtag which you are putting along with these tweets. So you can use the same hashtag or you can just retweet the tweet which I have made. Okay, you will get all the links for the tweets and everything in the description of this video. So and also in the comments, uh, the first comment of this particular video. So this is going to be helpful for especially for those who are at the verge of their age limit. Also, uh, see uh, one more issue is there that the number of seats should be increased because now every, uh, last year one exam has happened. So it's not justified if you just give less number of JRF students because the number of attempts are actually decreasing for anyone who is appearing for the exam, right? So anyone who is going around this particular cycle, the number of attempts are decreasing for that particular person. So at least the number of seats should increase. So this is one thing which we are focusing on right now. I'm requesting all of you to participate in it. Uh, this is for all the sciences students, whether you belong to chemical sciences, whether you belong to life sciences, uh, mathematical sciences, earth sciences, any of the science, physical sciences, any of these uh, subjects, if you belong to, and if you are giving CSI or UGC net exam, you should retweet that particular tweet tagging the three uh, officials and using that hashtag. This is a good way to convey our message to the CSIR and so that they can also think about the same and they can increase the age limit uh, for the upcoming CSIR net exam. All right. So that what that's what this video was all about. I just wanted to convey this message to all of you to most of you and I will highly request you that please share this video to as many people as possible and try to tweet as much as possible try to uh, make csir listen to your voice okay it's high time to raise your voice against all these things so that's all for this video guys that's what all is about it i hope that we as a country will come out of this particular situation as early as possible and we'll be able to give the exam we'll be able to live as we used to be a year back okay so at the end i just hope that you will spread this particular voice as much as possible and uh, stay safe stay at your home uh, follow all the covid related protocols take care of yourself take care of your loved ones take care of your family and educate the people around you because there is a lack of education around us right people who are who don't have much knowledge about it regarding vaccine uh, regarding your how to stay safe from this uh, virus people are not aware about it so please try to educate them being a science scholar being a science student it's your responsibility to spread the knowledge of science as much as possible uh, stop uh, misinformation if you are getting from anywhere just stop that and spread information as much as possible right that's the least thing which we can do as a society and try to help people as much as possible in this particular situation keeping yourself safe okay so keeping yourself safe and your family and all the loved ones safe that is that should be the first priority of yours so that's all from my side guys thank you so much for watching the video and i will see you in the next one till then have a great day stay safe stay at your home and stay healthy bye bye in case if you are unaware about it, I teach live for CSI UGC net category on the Unacademy Plus platform. You can access my profile, you can reach out to my profile through the link given in the description of this video. Now on the Unacademy Plus platform, you will get my free classes as well as the paid classes. Free classes, free live classes you will get under the section of special classes. Whereas you will also get free recorded sessions, free recorded courses which is under free courses section. You can reach out to these particular sections on the Unacademy platform. The link is there in the description of this video and you can uh, get the access of all these free sessions. Now, in case if you want to attend my paid classes, my paid sessions on the Unacademy platform, you have to take Unacademy Plus subscription. Now, in case if you are interested in taking Unacademy Plus subscription, do make sure you are using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. Uh, on using that referral code, you will get 10% discount on the subscription fee and uh, you will get access to all my paid classes along with the other top educators on an academy platform now in the paid classes you will get access to all the detailed classes apart from that you will also get the access to uh, the mock test also you will get personalized doubt clearing sessions so in case if you are interested to join it do take an academy plus subscription